What's going on, Geekdom? This is Chumma doing another reaction today. Reacting to a trailer. This is a gameplay reveal trailer for a video game called Project M. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to check this out because I was like, it looks like it'd be something interesting. It looks like a, a story based um, game. Uh, this is basically like the whole focus is just the story. More it is like killing and attacking things, I guess. Uh, I tend to like those a lot. Um, Cause one of my favorites was like the Walking Dead, the Telltale series. Um, planning out and you get to choose the story. It looked like it may be something like that, but Detroit becomes human was pretty good too. Mostly just like a story based um, game. But um, we'll definitely see. <laughs> we'll definitely see what's going on with this. See how this is, if it is or if it isn't. But we'll, we'll definitely see. But, uh, let's check this out. How good the freaking like, man is so detailed. That's the only reason why I think it's like story based, is because how good it looks. Project M is one of NCSOFT's most ambitious projects to date. What would it mean to you if the world was comprised of informational particles instead of physical particles? Oh, I got a little ahead of myself. I am TJ Kemp from NCSoft. Welcome to Project M. How would the fabric of simulated reality change our perceived world if we could tamper with the arrangement of those particles? This very idea is what sparked Project M. The informational particles that shape Project M's world can transform reality based on your choices. And each choice you make will change your experience. Hmm. See, another story back again. It doesn't look bad though. It looks like they're mixing like story with the action up. Where you get to choose exactly what's happening to change the story up. That sounds like a good idea. The information that exists in the present reality determines how the world will unfold. I think of Hellraiser when I see like a key box. I don't need to see that. <laughs> like, don't touch that. Do not touch that. Value every encounter and every moment. These Nothing the good comes out of a key box. Project M. This is where our journey ends for now. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Project M. Yeah. By Q's box, I'm just talking about the puzzle box. Because you're doing a puzzle with a, with a cube is never a good thing now that I've actually, I've, since I've watched Hellraiser, I'm like, anything, nope, put that down. <laughs> it can even be the uh, Rubik's Cube. Nah, put that down. <laughs> playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I guess the Rubik's Cube was fine. Not too many people hurt themselves, I guess. I guess, with the Rubik's Cube. Uh, hopefully. But, um, yeah. Uh, it seems like it might be an interesting game. Uh, but again, you still like have the choices. You either choose to fight, you either choose not to. You choose to pick up the gun, you choose not to. Which plays a part in how the story takes place. But it looks like you can control the fighting and stuff as well. So if you get yourself... Uh, off in the game, you can get yourself off in the game when you uh, choose to fight. So, 
Yeah, that aspect looks pretty interesting to me because a lot of the games like Detroit Human you don't have a lot of that leeway when it comes to fighting. Um, it still will fight for you in certain aspects of, of things, so you don't have that whole um, controlled combat. So that's what it looks like. It actually has like that controlled combat, but I don't know. But I do like those type of games where you get to choose the story, choose what happens, and stuff like that. Um, because it's your story, and I like those. It's like, it's your story, it's your pick of how you want the story to go. Um, you can call it a bad ending, good ending. It's your story. It's a story that happens. It's, it's your story that you want to go with as far as the characters and stuff goes in the game. Have fun with it. <laughs> Have fun with it. People get too tied up in trying to make everything so happy. And then, it's like, just have fun with it. You choose a way that gets your character off really quickly. Hey, that's just how you chose. It happens. This is, it happens in life. So, you know. The TT is what TT is. Um, but I definitely would play it. I got to watch some more of it. But it be sounds like a game that I would play. But. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below. If you like this video, please put a like on the video. If you like, subscribe. See some more of my videos, please do. Thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geekdom.